This is Kurt Leandros, and you're watching EXTV. Hey everyone, this is Andres Sokal of Extra Time TV and we are down in Barakpur where Bra Legends Brian Lara and Darren Ganga are playing off in a little friendly match behind, as you can see the guys behind there. So EXCV is down here and we're going to go around and try to speak to a couple of the people down here to see what they think about this exciting event. Okay, so here we are with someone who does not need any introduction, Mr. Kirli Ambrose himself. When I was young, I used to try terribly to bowl like you, but unfortunately I ended up playing football instead. So we're here at this lovely event, Darren. Ganga and Brian Lara. What do you think about the event and the atmosphere so far? Well, when I got the invitation from down in Ganga, yes. you know, I, I paused for a few moments mm. because I wasn't so sure if I really wanted to play in the cricket. Mm -hmm. But having explained to me what it was all about, mm -hmm. I thought it was a worthy cause mm -hmm. and I am here to support him. Mm -hmm. It has gone well so far. The turnout has been good. Mm -hmm. I just hope that this thing will get bigger and stronger. Yes. So do you think events like this, you know, sport contributes a lot to helping society on a whole, you know, younger kids' development, there's a lot of crime now. Do you think events like this get enough coverage? It certainly does. Mm -hmm. I mean, sport is a way out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always felt that sports and music, I think, unites, unites people more than anything else. Mm -hmm. No politician or governments can unite the people like sports and music. Right. So situations like these, I have no problem coming to and I'm putting my full weight behind them. Okay, so you know, these, these are wonderful initiatives, there are many others, they had a couple recently back in, uh, there was a T20 thing hosted by, um, I think it was Darren Ganga himself. Mm -hmm. So we, we hope to be at many more of these events, uh, and there are also a lot of football events. So if there's a football version of this, would you attend? Of course, I mean, football is my second favorite sport ah. after basketball. Mm -hmm. So anytime it's football, I wouldn't even think about it, I'll be here. Oh, okay. Cricket, I'll have to think a little bit, okay. but football or basketball, mm -hmm. I'd have to give it any thoughts. It wouldn't have to be due to something with that advantage, just height by chance. Well, it's just something I've always grown to love from a very early age. Yeah. You know, so uh, basketball and football are my favorite sports. Okay, so I'm going to throw you a few curveballs because since you're talking about basketball, is there a particular player that you like? I liked uh, Jabbar from back in the day. I was a little kid and I used to actually compare him to you. So, is that, you know, who's one of your favorite well, players? Well, if you're going way back in the past, yeah. you know, um, I'm young, but I Jew, know what he was. Julius Irving, oh, yeah, who's probably yeah. known as Dr. J. Yeah, yeah. He's always been my favorite way back when. Okay. And if you want to move forward, you got guys like Michael Jordan, mm. Magic Johnson, and yeah. Dominique Wilkins, oh, and okay. Charles Barkley. Those are my all time favorites. Mm. The present day crop, the younger yeah. guys, there are quite a few guys I like, but I'm from the, I'm from the old school, oh, so okay. I'll stick with the old boys. Yeah, you can't touch the old school. <laughs> so, you know what it's like? This is a wonderful event. Who do you think, you know, they're chasing the game right now? Do you, do you think it's going to be a massive comeback? No, not gonna be. I, 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 I'm, I'm a realist. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a foregone conclusion. How are you going to chase 200 plus? Yeah. I mean, and I love have a word with Gavin Ganga. We mm -hmm. got to change the rules a little bit, mm -hmm. but I won't tell you what. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's very private, confidential. Yes. Maybe we'll just drop a mic near to you when you're having a discussion. <laughs> Who knows? And it will leak to the press. So it's a pleasure, it's an honor speaking to someone like yourself yeah, and to have you at events like this. And uh, you know, enjoy your stay down South Trinidad. I said we'll enjoy my stay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Good All right. Uh, cool.